Good morning everyone. A couple of videos ago I mentioned that I had purchased uh, the shade Velvet Decade which is one of uh, Lisa Eldridge's True Velvet lipsticks and this is one of her deepest shades. It is a very dark chocolate brown shade and in that video I mentioned that I have a couple of other brown shades that I feel like are sort of different in terms of their undertones and it would be very fun to compare all of these lipsticks to each other and when I say all of these I really mean like I only have four uh, dark brown lipsticks. I'm not going to include any of my like nude brown lipsticks because I feel like we would be here for three days if we were going to swatch that and honestly if we're going to compare Decade to other similar colors I think we need to stick to like the darker brown chocolate lipstick family. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but we are only talking about uh, four lipsticks in total, so it will be a relatively short video, but I think uh, it covers uh, a few different undertones, so I hope that it's useful for you in order to decide whether you would like to try Decade or whether one of the other brown lipsticks and undertones of brown lipsticks speaks to you a little bit more. So with that said, let's do a little bit of swatching. I'm going to swatch them on my hand as well as on my lips so that you can see a little bit how they look like um, you know, on my complexion. I can't guarantee they're go going to look the same on you because of course we all have different undertones. I have like neutral to like yellow olive undertones. All right, let's start with the lipstick that is the easiest to remove. That is one of my oldest brown lipsticks. This is the shade Chocolate Shot. I'm going to leave on the screen all the names of the lipsticks just so something doesn't get lost in translation. But Chocolate Shot is one of the cream lipsticks from H&M. I've spoken about the H&M uh, cream lipstick formula before. These are some of the most comfortable, most flattering, most plumping beautiful lipstick formulas out there. I just cannot praise the H&M cream lipstick formula enough and this is the shade Chocolate Shard which as you can see is a I feel like somewhat neutral slightly leaning cool brown and you probably wonder why I think it is cool Trust me, when we compare it to the other colors that are coming I think this one is going to look a little bit more cool toned compared to a few of the rest. In terms of comfort, this one probably ranks the absolute highest among the four lipsticks that I'm going to show you because like I mentioned it's in that beautiful cream lipstick formula from H&M which is so incredibly comfortable on the lips. You can literally wear this lipstick all day and you will not feel uncomfortable at any single point, I promise you. Of course because it is a cream lipstick it is also the one that's going to last you the least amount of time on your lips. Yes, it comes off quite easily but you know the payoff of comfort is like a pretty sweet deal in my opinion. So when I want to wear a dark brown lipstick but I uh, am seeking also comfort, I am going to go for Chocolate Shot. And I feel like now you can see in terms of undertones that this leans a little bit more on like the neutral, slightly cool side. A couple of years ago I was going through a phase where I was very intrigued by uh, Tom Ford lipsticks. So I purchased a couple of those uh, Tom Ford like boys lipsticks, like the ones that are named after, I want to say, like famous male celebrities. And this is the shade Ben. At the time I had purchased Ben thinking that if I'm going to purchase a lipstick I might as well buy something that is more unique to my collection. One thing I wanted to mention about these Tom Ford lipsticks, they are nothing remarkable. They are quite tiny, they're quite expensive, the packaging is quite sleek but at the same time it doesn't feel ultra luxurious to me. I don't use my Tom Ford lipsticks a lot and I honestly wouldn't recommend them above lipsticks from Beth McGrath or Lisa Eldridge. I think that for the price you're paying for a much more luxurious experience when it comes to Pat and Lisa. So with that said, I also think I had duped myself because I think this lipstick is very very similar to the shade Chocolate Shot from H&M or in any case it is the one that comes the closest to it. I feel like it is slightly deeper because it's also in a more matte formula but overall I feel like when I put them on my lips in terms of undertones these two look pretty similar to each other. So because this is a more matte formula what I will often do is I will put this one as a base and I will put the one from H&M over top of that in order to make it more comfortable.
Damn, I haven't worn this lipstick in a while and now that it's on my lips I'm actually pretty impressed with the undertones. I think it looks really really beautiful. I don't know why I haven't been wearing this lipstick as much. It's a very like um, opaque beautiful formula, don't get me wrong. And it is a very long lasting uh, lipstick. Of course it leans more on the matte side so it will be slightly less comfortable over the course of the day. Overall I feel like now that it's on my lips I think it pulls a bit warmer than the shade from H&M. The shade from H&M maybe because it has less opacity and because it's a bit creamier and shinier looks a little bit more cool toned and this one is already starting to look a bit more like a true neutral um, brown lipstick so now that it's on my lips I'm very curious how it's going to compare to Decade from Lisa Eldridge because I feel like Decade looks rather similar. I am going to save Decade for last because I also think it's the shade of lipstick that I want to wear for the rest of the day. So now we're going to uh, go a little bit more onto the other side of the, of the spectrum which is the much warmer, much more bronzy leaning um, chocolate brown and for me this will be the shade Deborah which is one of the uh, NARS Audacious lipsticks. This is a relatively new lipstick to my collection. I only bought it in the spring I want to say of last year when all of a sudden I realized that I had a gap in my collection in terms of um, warm chocolate brown lipstick and I went high and low to search for it and I found out Deborah from NARS. So here is a swatch of Deborah. I hope it's coming across on camera that this lipstick has much warmer undertones compared to these two and especially the shade Chocolate Shot from H&M. This is a really gorgeous warm chocolate brown. It is honestly the only like truly warm brown that I have in my collection and I'm not an expert when it comes to uh, brown lipsticks. Probably there are many other beautiful warm browns out there but I have not been able to find one that quite compares to uh, Deborah from NARS. In addition to that this lipstick is also uh, on the more comfortable side of brown lipsticks because I don't know if we, whether you've ever tried the Nars Audacious formula, but they are um, they don't necessarily have a creamy finish, but they don't have also a strictly matte finish. So they are somewhere in that golden middle where they are more like a satin matte, so they are um, not going to slide around your lips too much, but they are also not going to be a super long lasting and super mattifying on the lips. Okay, and last but certainly not least, let's swatch Decade from Lisa Eldridge, which is this gorgeous lipstick over here. So here is Decade from Lisa Eldridge, which in my opinion is um, more of a neutral, a very like plum red based brown So this is Decade for you. The, um, the first time you saw me wearing this lipstick was actually the first time that I had put it on and the first day that I wore this lipstick throughout the whole day. It is a gorgeous color, it lasts relatively well on the lips, although over the course of the day it can get a little bit patchy here and there because it does tend to stick to uh, drier patches of your lips. Um, and it also tends to get a bit more drying over the course of the day. So I would say out of the four that I showed you so far, I think this one is probably the one that over the course of the day will start to feel the most uncomfortable because it will start to dry out your lips. Um, it's usually pretty okay for like the first 5-6 hours and then after 3 o'clock in the afternoon if I have to reapply this lipstick without any sort of like a creamy base underneath it like my MAC lip primer or some sort of a um, lip balm this will drag quite a bit and it will feel quite drying and uncomfortable so that is something that I need to warn you about but it is such a gorgeous brown lipstick. I love all of my uh, brown lipsticks. I like that they have different undertones to them. I think each of them fits a different occasion um, and I don't feel the need to have many more in that category because 
dark ch chocolate brown lipsticks are also not something that you can wear all year round. I think they're perfect for right now, for like the deep fall months at least on this part of the, in this part of the world. Uh, but they're not something that I would be pulling for regularly in the summer. I hope that this video was helpful to you in order to you know get an idea of where decade places among similar colors and which one would be the most suitable for you if you were curious to purchase a darker brown lipstick. Let me know which lipstick was your favorite, uh, which one is your personal favorite deep chocolate brown lipstick. I'm super curious. Let's talk about it in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!